get that spike on the ground. Can they make that work? It seems like for Fear of it most definitely does not work. Navarro still tries, but the wall is now somewhat broken. Still, it looks decent. No real worries at that point. As prison, pardon, prison narrow. That's the right way around it. Still does a decent job. But on the other oh. side, suddenly someone's elevated. They have no clue what's happening. He didn't see. He didn't see that he was actually lucky. Didn't see he's actually boosting Navarro. He was trying to protect and get some clearance on the spike, but that was just not gonna happen. And Navarro just closed. Bit of a different representation here. Yeah, definitely cool. Let's see. Slowly get onto kitchen here. Oh God. That's spike nasty. And that's proper stuff. I mean, Josea with the flank, coming in good, Prisonero, as well as Xeon, just fall one by one. And this is where I can overall accept, I mean, we're talking about Icebox first of all, but second of all, I'm not a big Reyna fan. When your Reyna can pop off like that, then that's legitimate. But still, the round isn't done yet. Brome is hiding a little bit back in the corner, trying to take a little hide advantage over Spawn, but no issue for... Once the plan comes in, more than possible. And here they push. That's where Hive can put out the big guns. Suddenly, Lucker obviously joins with that. Easy peasy, Lucker squeezy. I think that one was Swiss really fast. Quite decent as a support individual. Pretty much well done, though. Here's by Fira finding the double as he swings right. Hive gets out of his little pit. Those are fracks that couldn't be any easier. And Prisonero just mined it up behind the bars. Whatever they think they could do. It's a declaration Ooh. of intentions and Sean, whoa, that's some payback there. And and that's the thing, you're you're peaking with an agent that is meant to stay alive, otherwise his his abilities are gone. Ooh. And there's no wall anymore. This Get is critical. There's no wall. Viper can put nothing up as she's already in the coffin. Obviously just coming in with a good peak and flank over there joining the squad over middle it's not going to make it easier because the resurrection from Lucker also pretty much not present he can't go back there he can't make a revive possible now a good bit of information that fear of mine gather but that ain't happening he's actually getting tacked in the meantime for the boxes Lucker can't do much absolutely blind but this is where Josea strikes we know this man can perform miracles when needed but he can pull the rabbit out of hat I got my doubts good information gained fear of still on it still tries to find frags but eliminate at last just goes to the more aggressive fake <laughs> call. There you go. Black has to be somewhere, and Lucker is there. The rest of the juice of the... They're not gonna allow it, but oh my god, Jesus came in stronger. He managed to get one, one does fall. Lucker here has the situation under control. Promise has a different plan, but it's only him. Okay, okay. Here he's just avoiding any kind of plan. It may... Oh, and he's been spotted, and now he's gonna die. In the air, Fear. Nevertheless, Fear Rock is actually gonna be the one okay. who sees his teammate dying. No. Suddenly, it seems to be working. And Promas and Co., they got the kills right already. They gotta be fast, actually. Kadefra is oh. gonna make it? Yeah, in time. Jeez, that was way too close. But either way, pressuring them as long as possible, Fear Rock with information can still make it possible to get a fifth. Otherwise, the problems might start to arise. As I say, that flash is on. Chris is still finding things. They're really going on it. And same goes for Bromas. Thrifty as possible. That seems to be the goal. And Fear Rock is trying his best. On the left-hand side, he definitely spotted the little Tasmanian Tiger. And the swing wow. goes According to him, makes the pistol, but it's not enough. Close, close. Some sound coming in, and also that viper wall. So that's a lot of info. It is good pit. Strong start from Jose. I mean, I love his aggressive approach. It always seems to be very well fought through. But Spectre can't always be enough, but fear off with the double. That can't be enough. Leaving it only down to Navarro, who most likely doesn't have a clue how close Cadaver is around. But obviously, no time for greed. Man's just a little bit away from his teammates, and they rather attack as a double pack and leaving him an option to take him one by one. Sound has been heard. Patient he is. There's a little step from Hype, but he knows about Kadafra. Nevertheless, successful. Point in time, though the map has shown mostly in the pro scene that it still has this tendency of being a bit more on the attacker side of things because you can set the pace. Yet again, they just enjoy the defender side a little bit more. I'll give it. I'll give him that. Just to replace off statistics. Oops, Kadafra didn't expect that. Lucker still makes it work. Another shot that goes in their favor. But Firov seems to be the savior of the day. Prisonero goes a little further. But are they aware? Hold on. Oh no. Oh no, that's like...
I was I was scared because he started looking at window and I was like, you, you just heard him, you you know where he is, but he's just watching this home pack and Kier's here. I think that this is not a bad map for a bit. No, it's you know their way opposite. around. I've got and, your uh, trail. Now that they've included the uh, sky, I think that is doing a great job of great work for them. Found one. Oh, they have a Oh, and there you go. Just say once more wait patiently. Oh hype here. Do they overcommit? No, they don't. Oh hype realizes. And he's aware. Walls up. This one's more gonna make it a little bit more difficult for the lads. At least the body shot found. That's a snake bite brought to the ground as well. And at least a kill. I mean, Chris was pushing him, but good job at least getting a kill off the player that he attacked previous. Now, thank you very much for that free one. At least he says that with the hunter here, but the dash obviously coming in. It's at least prison error he finds. This is a round that should not be lost under any circumstance, but things. Previously, but his turned around against you, Cam. That was already wild. Still Spike not obtaining planted. control at that point in time. Still not denying the spike. Surely we're talking about the pistol upgrades. That's good timing, though. Bromass is still on it. The sky is the battle sky at that point. Revive is gonna come in. And Xeon peaks at the right time. We know where he is. And that leaves him only to one option. Fight them all. No chance. It'd be too hard for them. Oh, Killjoy. Oh, what? No! No! Kadafra's actually catching detained! He's just there a millimeter too early! It's the, it doesn't necessarily at least get him killed, that's something, but goodness gracious, he might be mad! It's collapsing! Every single pillar of defense is crumbling and falling apart! Oh, no! No way! Happens to the best of us. It's still dramatic. Yes. I wouldn't have expected this to be the case. Honestly. Oh boy. That is a disastrous last It's only the last round, which is a good thing. It's still a disastrous last round. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of impossible for him and here or them. It's gonna spot care. Or him out of there. Oh. That's a great start. Yeah. There we go. I mean Ugh. Yeah, rain and, and pistol round. Yeah, there you go. It's an absolute disaster. Oh, Josiah comes in with the quad. He, the man's just a, a beast, period. No, no words about him. From time to time he plays things that seem impossible. And it obviously makes him one of the best duelists in this world, yet again. What? Now we don't see him. <sighs> there you go. Looks not that easy, but oh, I mean, come on, Kadabra. Are you serious? If that weapon and oh, no bullets left in the Mac. He could have had so many good kills there. At least one in a trade. There wouldn't have to be more bullets in that Mac. Good. Yeah, that that could be. That's not a nail in the coffin for this round. There. Except. Oh. There. You go. There you go. There you go. He just knows he was. You know, trigger this. Oh, there you go. So, that didn't go according to plan. You say you being eliminated? Surely that's. I mean, I'm fully with that. that's big. But we saw in the past players like Firoz can actually turn things around. Wow. What is that? Is Bro just holding W or what is this man made of? Suddenly turning things around by realizing I don't need to stop. No need to jiggle peek. Just hold that W button and it'll you. I messed up. Either way, getting away from that, just you know, obviously doing what he does best. Getting an easy kill up. There's an error eliminate. See on a bit backing off, though he doesn't have his ult. He's still rather getting away from the side. Probably looking for the reinforcements. One kill, a single one, and then exactly this thing exists. The lockdown might just be pulled out. But if it is not even too late, I'm not so sure about it. Could obviously get them away from the side, but the reinforcements in the form of Chris, who also got his ult around, just come in. Problems arise, the defense still strong, the killjoy comes in. And now do you push it or not? Kadavra whips, even the blades. Problems are really getting massive at this point, but they just played by the retake. And this means Viper does her best with he, just the snake fight. But he can't be he can't can pushed. Yeah, he can't be pushed. He can't right. get out of there. The problem is. They do have yeah, Hunter's okay. Fury. Yeah, yeah okay, he just for a second. Uh, what? That is obviously. Okay. Working at the end of the day? Is it? There's yes, no more snake bites. I want to say there's no more snake bites. You gotta do something. Oh. The shock arrow. It comes too late. Sure, coming from the back. So, okay. Looks like uh, Alliance wants to rush it a little bit. 
happen on Tamir and the Ridiculous? I don't think they're going to be fast enough. Yeah, most likely not, because it's just once we're popping off. And uh, yet again, I, I have to say, those flights have been, the, the, the flights of the jet, of Cadaver, have been successful. But at the same time, they're soaring towards victory. Most definitely they do. But I have been previously scared to those rounds. Weapons and Betis. This is probably, who knows, maybe going to be the last round. Because look at what's on Betis' hands. Not much. They do have that rest. But Alliance is looking extremely comfortable. As hell. Uh, you know, you can't be even more risky. Oh. And there it goes. And you know, I just exactly want to make that point. You can be as risky as you want to, you still got to revive. It obviously wasn't overly risky, it just got unlucky to some degree. But Giseo, on his ult, that Empress. God, you don't want to, you don't want to see it. You don't want to see it when you're on the other end of the barrel, because you'll be looking down your own grave. As I say that, Chris have none of that. Still a lockdown available for the Batiste side of things. And the dial could be there. You see, back in mid, there is still one individual waiting for the flank. And as he's having none of that, and he's like, okay, that won't happen. Lineup is getting ready. Surely you can try to defuse. It doesn't change the matter of fact that you still need to see yourself in a scenario where he can even get to the bomb. The spike's ticking. Curse has not gonna have a chance. He has to back off in that scenario, and I think Locker is gonna be the bait. Again, two players are detained at this point. Okay, you gotta be swift. You gotta be really One fast about it, remaining. and here you go. Frag bound. I in that intro. I'm sorry that I left you alone, but uh, I think leaving alone, that doesn't look like anyone leaving each other alone. What is this start? That is just great from Alliance. They <laughs> wanted to be the upper hand and they said- are doubting what kind of ignorant guy is he, but oh, no. just something different. Well, it's just something different. Also the way so he called the Manta every single time it gets wow, me, but that clean. is- <sighs> I have to say there are many different pistol rounds. Oh, that's that oh god. Ah, okay. I love Hero. Oh, you know man. you know why I love this guy? Because he and they're gonna go into the aggression. Oh uh -oh. you hate to see that. This is not fun, but still good frack found. Funny wise those seekers are even hitting Pearl Mass. Okay, I didn't expect I didn't see that one come. Fear of is really aggressive in what he's doing. And he's actually dodging no slash. He, did he blind his teammate? I think he did. And suddenly Lucker, who's still getting concussed, still sees his teammate dying right there in the process. We still got a man equalized scenario. Oh, one wow, that's proper. I obviously absolutely This is something dodging. else from Alliance. I love it. It's it's yes. very good coordination we're seeing, and and BTs pretty much they continue the way they ended themselves over on the attacker side against UCAM because that was a disaster. Remember, first two points of health that are left, and they force it back again. I mean that's risky. I, one of those random shots hitting you, it's risky. And this was well done. Great distraction from Chris. Maybe he has died in the process. Doesn't change the matter of fact that he really denied more coming. But this is the opportunity. For nobody else in Locker. Well done, Niels. And as he shows the cap capability, capability, that's the right word to find some tracks. I mean, they lined up. They Easy run for them. They still lost three of ooh, members of their team. And Kirth is just not going to allow that all to be picked up that easily. Yeah, I wish, yep. Yeah, capital round here. Oh, oh man, I, I gotta say, I love that. Uh, this this alliance is fun to watch right here. Sure, sure. First four mat, for, first four rounds. It doesn't have to mean a thing. Don't get me wrong. Oh, that was that so. That was just lucky. <laughs> that was absolutely. That's ridiculous. Come on. I was completely man. trained. Imagine you get killed for that with the hunter's fury. I'd be so mad. I'd be damn mad. Here we go. Denies it again. It is obviously, or suddenly the flames are hitting the ground. Not that easy when those kills are coming in. Juseo, who's capable of obviously swapping roles and is a great flax player, shows that he can also do it with Sage. Even great support coming in. Bromas is trying his best to get the spike down. Will do so. But suddenly the abilities are coming in. Juseo just dodges that. And back in the corner, they know where everyone basically is at this point. Those kills are easy. Fifth round. It's a very tricky situation after that. Oh, that space for you is a very narrow map. Oh no! There you go. Oh man, it's really disaster striking. B besides the point. Besides that, we were talking about full ults being right there, right? Five, five. Full. Yeah, full. Ult. So sorry, yeah, full. five. Pardon, pardon. Yeah, yeah. 
And James Banks is being so kind to let me know. It's actually Jusu. Jusu. I like Juicy. Yeah. Because better. of the world? Juicy. Either Thanks, way. Banks. Thanks. Thanks, Banks. Thanks, this Banks. is proper. <laughs> did you did you ever consider Wait, I'm just going to that. Okay, the round is pretty much in. Sion, can you perform clutch? No? Okay. Did you ever consider doing 7 0s? To be frank, I don't believe that we're going to see the same side swappy thing that we had previous. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I don't, I genuinely don't believe that we're, we're, we're absolutely going to see the same disaster that we have witnessed with the one side of Halls back on the first game, on the first kind of thing. But I'm straying away and ac actually at the worst time possible. Brilliant stuff. Yeah. Betis is delivering. Yeah, Betis and I is backing up for Bromas using his drone and his only hype. This 5v1, I mean, I would say he has to save this, but he doesn't really have to. That's seven rounds in a row. He definitely has a lot of economy. So might as well, you know, get a few charges for his ultimate. Well, he can. Let's see if he can find Prisionero here. On a, on a bone, off, a, on an off angle. That was a hard one. And given that's not, I don't think it's that we're seeing them struggling against the Lions. On attack, it's just the Lions is... Being so dominant, it looks that like they're the ones attacking. They don't really have a chance. Oh man! There you go. Prison's trying his best, but he's making that work quite decently. Oh, Prison Air finds Cadaver as he's being airborne at that point in time. What could work though? It's obviously Brimstone and his ult, but there's no fire coming down on the site. So I don't have any hope left at this point. So, should be done and dusted. Yeah, that's fear of tries. Get the operator out of there. Let's put it that way. Yeah, only for you to keep it, for, but for them not to have it. And they're gonna go on the hunt for it. Navarro prison and obviously here. He's gonna find the first one. And he's in a good position for himself. Wait a little bit. Ooh, that could have been a collateral, but prisoner with the... They seem to get a grip back into the game. Obviously... How long will Alliance accept that they're being toyed around is the question. That's wow. decent stuff with the ult, but very costly considering we're talking about the orbital strike, immediately concussed, and suddenly it seems to go all towards A. And take a look at that on the minimap, Kikuka. They, they're absolutely not aware of what's happening. Wow. But the, the, the anti-timing was just amazing to, from Locker to protect his team. That was just, uh, you know, we know with you being pushed through, through hookahs, probably someone's coming uh, left. from B long onto garden already. So he's used his ultimate and just stopped whatever was happening. But these are gonna manage to find the plant here, but oh man, oh man, Ferrath. You're all. Oh, there was a kill they needed. And the worst part of all of that, suddenly Grim, a part in Breach, can cause the earthquake. It doesn't even need it. This is what okay. it seems like. Nope, Kadavra is all on his own. And well, Abracadabra is pretty much what he has to do. I got my doubts that he's going to make that one work. As though, Mandel in hand, we know miracles can be performed from time to time. He's he's on it, but definitely not succeeding. And Alliance are starting to struggle here. I mean, struggle, struggle. <laughs> We're still seeing sort some of. things. Yeah, I think it's just uh, babies are, are getting the, the, the duels. And uh, even though, as I was saying, they didn't have that timeout. They... Hmm. Look at that. They're taking Hookah aggressively together. Which obviously we have seen do Navarro fall and Prisonero as well. And suddenly, they like the aggression. Oh my goodness, this is clean. They just needed to trust their results. You know? Because it's uh, you mean what I said about, about not repeating and yada yada. Yeah. But <laughs> all the rounds that you have repeated it. And luckily, Betis has not found the way across it, so, you know, just, just keep doing it. The thing I like the most is right now, Fira. Of that wall, but look at yeah, they're not going to stop looking at it. Oh. Oh. That's nasty. Still at least a kill found by Hype. But Prisonero, is he actually being caught or not? Prisonero tries to make that flank work. That's actually hype in the process, as I say that. He's really deep in it. He's really toying with their thoughts and their thinking, denying that, oh, uh, no, going further here. And they go over long at the same time. This is getting nasty. Exactly. As you said, he even spots it. Oh my goodness. It's just getting worse. Is it? Oh, they're definitely not going to be gonna expecting him on his back. They need to pay attention to when this Viper wall goes off. Oh no. Timing is just not enough. 
30 seconds left. <laughs> Got him. There you go. Kadafra. Get away with his teammates. Culture's A will try and to get at least a spike down, but no chance at all. And here's a little fun thing I have to do. Yeah, and as you see, that's going to be quiet, proper for the side of Alliance. Finally, around they should obtain at this point. All the weapons are there. They're taking a little bit of an aggressive stance, makes it work against Sion. The spike's taken away. BTS most likely won't have too much of a chance at that point. I don't believe it. I will. I believe it, but yeah, those shots are points. Nearly flawless. Yeah, nearly flawless. And trying to extend their borders, delineation in a different way. It's, well, it's massive. Yeah. It's so massive to get those kills. This is making a big impact. And there's also a difference. We saw Alliance use on the wall to counter, counter the other wall on A. But, but this is just going to stick to what they know, to what works for them. And what works for them is having Kirk with the operator just pushing onto some of the corners, and they oh. also were expecting that whatever he manages to get the first one. There we go, and suddenly the pit's out. Obviously, an uncomfortable scenario to be in here on the side of BTs, but we know things can turn sour easily, especially with such individual. We know Kadafra is an absolute beast in most cases. Oh, this could get problematic. One more on the left-hand side, but he's not even more in the pit. Bromas on the edge of it. He wants to get them at the time where it's getting a little dangerous. Wrong direction. Oh, you gotta get that one down. Because specifically, as we saw, it is only an operator in his hands. Oh, he finds the first. Goes out of it. The pit suddenly diminished, but the shot in the head is... From the matter of fact that not too much has been done. I see their point of what they were trying to achieve, but... Oh, this is... It's not only big, this is nasty. Kadafra Conan with the one taps like that, as he learned it in the Belgian one tap school, with school principal called Adil Berliton. Hopefully your last name of Scream has not been butchered too much here. Beautiful shots, period. I mean, as he said, that's GG to the fact because you're, you're swinging together. Because on paper they do everything right. They swing together, they, they could potentially trade each other out, and what happens? Abracadabra. This is just so bad for Betis. They needed the, the, the control. They gave up whatever was going on, on because of that overtail strike that they used. But the, they didn't know what was happening in showers. And, and Alliance was smart enough. They had seen here with the operators going to find one here. Taking that control. Oh, oh God. Left. Spike down. Oh, egg. my God. That's proper, isn't it? He didn't. That looked decent. There. The thing is, though, exactly that. Ah, this is so annoying, but <gasps> he dodged it. He dodged it so right. Ah, I, I like the idea. Kadafra is really on point. The quick reaction of that, let this sink in for a second. Please just... You, you need to... You should have done so far away. Who would have expected that? Yeah. It's just and too so risky. Like, there's no right answers here. They, exactly, right? There's yeah. no right answers. No. ...that they need on a row to even get this to an overtime. Steals their defense, and they, they did manage to pull many rounds in a row against Ukam, but I feel like Alliance to just close this and just go home. Oh, that's nasty. Good after starting good, but not much more to obtain. Shots through the small luck. It's not on the side of luck or this time around. But they didn't spot the spike, that's the thing. How could they? <laughs> they need to be passive here. They do have the advantage, but looks like they're going in for the hunt. I have the spike. Yuzu here, retrieving the spike. He does have the rest. Just doesn't want to commit onto this round. We saw some inspectors. So still, not enough. Pipe. I mean, okay, now we have a few pits, great. What are we gonna do with that? <laughs> it's not bringing them too much at this point. So that's a nice start. It's, it's a legit question, like, what are you doing now? You have you have made your pit, great, but what's up with that? The, the, the purpose of it 
in this case, obviously, it could be the last round. Rather use it than don't, but still the problems rise for Tease at that point. And they play it safe. When is Viper going to be spotted? There she's gone. More to come. Frax being found. Juseo is obviously the man you want in such a round. He's as hard as Jack got close, but Breach is waiting even a bit further. Oh, it's only one more remaining. You say you was playing this perfectly on time. He's just wiggling and dancing. This is the belay of the Irishman. And it's gonna be enough. 13th round of pain.